Valley of Kedarnath, uh, a Hindu holy town, uh, very popular with pilgrims. Uh, and we understand that it was while it was on this mission that it came down. Uh, the weather's been pretty bad in these, in these parts uh, a lot of the day yesterday. Uh, the, a lot of missions had to be aborted because of the bad weather. We were on one where the helicopter had to turn back. Uh, in this one, uh, we do know that several other helicopters returned to base, but for a, for a while they lost contact with this particular one, uh, and then they discovered that it had come down. All eight personnel on board, uh, five Air Force personnel, three civilians have died. Sandra, is it possible to even know how many people could still be stranded on those mountainsides waiting for help? It's a very difficult process of trying and finding out how many there are. We've heard varying figures. Uh, we do understand that some, at least 6,000 people uh, are still stranded, uh, 5,000 in an area uh, near Badrinath, which is another Hindu temple town, uh, about 1,000 elsewhere. Uh, some of those people were brought back today, so we are still not sure how many are left. Uh, but I did spend some time earlier today meeting the relatives of people who are still missing. Uh, they were very, very upset, very angry. Uh, demanding to know where their missing relatives are, saying that the lists that are being put out of the people who've survived or the people who've died, uh, are, you know, they, their names are not on it. So th there are a lot of people looking to try and find out what's happened to their relatives. Um, but the terrain is so difficult. Uh, we heard today that there are bodies buried under the mud. Uh, they might have to bring in uh, Navy divers uh, and other specialized equipment to try and locate bodies. Uh, so I'm afraid it's going to be some time before we get a sense of how many people have been killed and uh, how many people are still missing waiting to be rescued.